Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad. It's Wednesday. It's New Comic Book Day. That means you should be going out and getting comic books. But, you know, your shop might not be open because it's, you know, really early in the morning, uh, at least East Coast time, and shops probably aren't open yet. But if they are, you should be going just there. Go. Go now. What are you doing? Why are you watching? Just go to your shop. But if you're going to watch, we've got two trade paperbacks provided by DC Comics. Uh, they've hooked us up to show off what's out this week. Now, they've got a whole bunch of new releases, including Flintstones, which we already reviewed yesterday in the video. You can go check that out. Highly recommend it. Spoiler, it's an awesome graph, you know, trade paperback. Go and buy it. But we got two today. We got Batgirl Volume 1, Cyborg Volume 1, both the first volumes of the Rebirth re relaunch of these characters and titles for DC's Rebirth. Now, for those who don't know, DC's Rebirth is basically taking some of the old and the new, mashing them together into this new world of the DC Universe. Really good, fantastic, solid job in that department. Let's go, we're going to go in alpha order to discuss these things. First up is Batgirl. Now this includes issues one through six of Batgirl uh, by Hope Larson, Raphael Albuquerque, who's an amazing artist, and retails for about $16.99. Gotham's Girl goes global. It's the best way of describing it. Batgirl decides to bust out of Burnside and go take a little backpack trip around the world and kind of find herself and kind of get her her center all set up. Um, I like it. I like the fact that, that Rebirth took both Batgirl and Nightwing out of Gotham. It, uh, it was basically kind of stuffy there. There's way too many capes of the bat variety in Gotham, so to get them out there to be able to explore, explore things a little bit is really, really solid and nice. Uh, what's cool here is that it, it is a look at uh, Batgirl herself. Now, she travels out, there's a lot of MMA fighting, she gets trained, stuff like that, and uh, we get to learn a lot about her, some of her friends, and who is Barbara Gordon, who's Babs, and that's kind of the big point of this first volume, I think, is it is an exploration and kind of getting back to basics. It's Batgirl Begins in many ways. She goes to the Far East, just like a Batman Begins, to go and find herself what it makes kind of sense with her. Uh, she shows off her brain, she shows off her fighting skills, and learns a lot about herself, which is cool. Uh, the art, I think, is solid. Obviously, the writing, top-notch. Hope Larson knocked it out. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, the art is Really uh, fantastic. Raphael Eberkirk is just an amazing uh, artist as far as I'm concerned. Let me try to find some cool... I probably should, you know, should do these sort of things beforehand so I can easily pop uh, to these pages. We get this two-page spread of a nice little fight breaking out, and we can see kind of the small details that he's doing. Um, we get this, you know, Barbara kind of figuring out trajectories to go and fight people, which is really neat. It's a solid addition and, and kind of small detail that I think is really cool. Um, overall, I've really liked the Batman, uh, Batgirl direction and kind of the Batman universe as a whole. It got her away from everyone else, which is, I think, something that really needed to be done. So, uh, it's fantastic. As much as I loved the Burnside version of Batgirl, and she kind of needed to get a little away from that world and explore some other things. It's okay to have Bat characters outside of Gotham. As far as extras, we get covers, which is things that, you know, you kind of expect in the DC Comics. Try not to spoil some stuff. And in the back, we've got variants. And we also get some cool non-colored art to show off how awesome Raphael Abercrombie is in his art. So uh, I like it. You know, if you're a Batgirl fan interested in getting into Batgirl, this is a really good, solid uh, way to do that. If you've missed out on the single issues, I highly recommend this one. Up next, we've got Cyborg. This collects issues one through five of Cyborg and Cyborg Rebirth number one. Uh, that's This is by John Semper Jr., who is the uh, writer for it. And we've also got artists uh, Paul Pelletier, 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 I think that's it. Will Conrad, Timothy Green II. Um, so it's war between man and machine. Cyborg is trapped in the middle. 
this was an interesting take on Cyborg. Um, I'm kind of a little middle of it is the best way of putting it. Like, it's not bad. I just think there was the previous volume I enjoyed uh, a lot more. This, unfortunately, I think takes some uh, story aspects that we've seen done so many times before. Uh, one, kind of the Frankenstein idea, is it a monster, is it a man, and also a ghost and machine idea, and, you know, is it really a, a human being with a soul, or is it a computer program running through uh, its program? We've, we've seen that, so uh, in the story itself, I'm not super impressed. Um, I mean, all putting it together, there's some, there are some really solid moments. I, there are some things that John Semper does, John Semper Jr. does in the writing that I really enjoy. Um, I don't, there's a particular scene where he goes to like a jazz club that I liked and I think really emphasized some stuff. But at the same time, uh, I think it's a couple steps back of what we've seen from the previous volume, which uh, I think was absolutely fantastic and a great uh, take on Cyborg the character. This one, unfortunately, I think uh, is a little bit regressive in the character and doesn't quite uh, challenge en uh, him enough and shows off why Cyborg is a fantastic character and deserves his own series. So, um, like, it's not bad, but it's also, we've seen better. So if you've been reading the previous Cyborg volume, I'm not sure you'll be quite as impressed with this one. If you've never read that one, then you might like this. If you also have never known the Cyborg character, this isn't a horrible place to start. It's actually pretty good in that department and catches you up and introduces some uh, good concepts in that. Uh, the art is pretty, pretty decent. Um, some of it is, I'll say, okay. So that, that's, I think, pretty, pretty decent art. I like it. Um, it's actually much better than decent. It's actually really, really good art. But then you get... Um, something like this, where I just don't think the uh, action is quite good. The, the, the art's not quite as crisp. There's something missing. And unfortunately, you know, I'm not solid enough with art and be able to describe the things that I can tell you exactly what. Then you get something like this that's really, really good that catches the art. So overall, this one's kind of a, a middle grade. You know, if, you, if you're going to go, you know, F through A type of thing, this one's in that like a C plus area. This one's definitely like a B plus, A minus. It's really, really good. So a bit mixed uh, this week. Flintstones, if you want something that's non-rebirth related, highly recommend Flintstones, believe it or not. It's Absolutely fantastic. Uh, one of the, some of the best political commentary out there today. Go get it. It's just, it's fan awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's it. So um, thank you, DC Comics, for hooking us up with these two trade paperbacks. Uh, if you want to get your own copies, you can go and hit up your local comic book shop today. They're on the shelves. Go support your local comic book shop. If you don't, then they won't be around and you, you know, you'll be sad. I'll be sad. Comic industry will be sad. So go do that. If you don't have a local comic book shop near you, there are links beneath this video to help you out. There is uh, a link to Things from Another World and a link to Amazon where you can go buy it there. Uh, they are affiliate links, so we do get like a small percentage of that, but by doing so, you do help support our site, so thank you very much for that. But first and foremost, comic book shop. Go support your lo local comic book shop. This is my weekly PSA when it comes to that. Thank you for watching so much. If you are into comics and into DC Comics and you're watching this video, you probably are. You should go check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, thanks for watching and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.